There is a national uh, humility, shall I say, uh, exemplified by a story that I have told an, any number of times uh, in speeches. It, this was back in 1968 here at Stratford when my parents were both alive and both either crowding the 80s or into their 80s and suffering all the ticks and, and, and uh, aches and pains that, that uh, people do at that age. And they wanted to come and see me play Klestikov in The Government Inspector. It was in 1968, yeah. So I had them sit in the front row of the festival theater so that uh, they could see and hear everything that was possible for them to see and hear. And also that when intermission came, they wouldn't have to get up and down out of their seats because there was plenty of room for people to pass in front of them who wanted to go into the lobby or to the Johns or whatever. So they they were comfortable. Okay, so the afternoon, the house was not crammed, but it was a substantial, substantial house. And when I came out for my curtain call, there was four hands and two faces sitting in the front row, beaming slightly, but not one hand put against the other. I took, my, took them out for dinner afterwards and, uh, and after we sat down I shouted to my mother across the table jocularly, Mother, thank you very much for that tremendous ovation you gave me when I came out for my solo curtain call. She looked at me in stunned amazement and fixed me with steely blue eyes and said, Bill. We couldn't have applauded for you. Everyone would have known who we were. Oh, my God. And she was deadly serious. I realized she was serious. Normally, this gets a huge laugh when I tell it to an audience. But she and didn't want to... Uh, she didn't... <laughs> it's... She was... It, it, R.H., it is... It is a, we've inherited from the Victorians, and it is still extant in this country, and that is we're terribly proud of our own, but we must never show it. Right. And if we do, we're in danger of revealing our identity. And right. of course, Canada, for a, had, we all know that Canada had a very secret voyage through the 20th century. How do you mean secret? <laughs> Nobody knew we existed. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly ourselves. <laughs>